Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle. Today I'm going to be trying out some products that intrigued me and it's actually from a clothing brand. I saw a few videos here and there about pretty little things having their own makeup and naturally I was quite intrigued. So I picked up a few things. I didn't get a full face but I do have a few products here to try and so yeah I really wanted to give this a go. See if they're any good for you guys. Also see if there's a shade available for my pale skin. I have moisturized. I have not primed though because I thought I'd make it kind of like a chit chat kind of get ready with me. So I'm tea ready and I'm ready to just chill. I have so much in my tryout drawer as well so I might throw in <laughs> some other things that I bought. Let's just get right into this. Pretty Little Thing does have a foundation. They don't have that many shades. This is porcelain. With the label, I am kind of worried. And it was very hard to choose my shade on the website because it didn't really have a good representation of the shades online. So it's really cool packaging, by the way. It's kind of like the bags that Pretty Little Thing's clothing comes in. It's got little unicorns all over it and it's pretty in pink. The packaging for the foundation is very basic but it feels really nice. It's like that matte finish. It's really nice and smooth. It feels real good. I'm just gonna test the shade. Okay it doesn't on camera it doesn't look that bad. Oh it does not feel good. <laughs> um okay so that blended out into nothing. Is there any coverage? This feels this feels rough. I'm not gonna judge it yet. I want to prime my face first, so I'm going to use my trusted Barry M Primer. I love this stuff. It's the Unicorn Primer Drops. I did a whole review on this. I'll link it in the eye if I remember to, but it's just a really good primer. Super duper cold. So how have you guys been doing? Let me know if you want to comment down below. My YouTube uploads have been a little slacking and I apologize for that. I'll be honest, I haven't been in the best place mentally. And I don't really talk about anything like that on my channel. Possibly I should because I feel like a lot of people struggle with mental things and it's good to vent. <laughs> but I don't want to burn people with my stuff, you know. Nah, that's just the kind of person I am. But yeah, so I've only been uploading like once a week. Typically I do do two. So I do apologize for that. I am trying to get out my funk. But I just thought I'd let you know that I am aware and I am trying to sort my shiz out. Anyway, let's get back to the makeup and stop talking about my, my personal demons. My pores are looking real bad. I'm just gonna put a bit of pore filling primer on. Just gonna use a little bit of Benefit Pore Professional. Okay, so enough procrastinating. Let's get into the foundation. I just wanna see what the claims are on this first. It says, perfect your day-to-day -day look with this lightweight, pretty little thing, photo finish, porcelain foundation. Our formula is perfect for all skin types and sure to give you that insta-ready glow. I thought this was supposed to be full coverage. Where did I read that? Okay, well, we're gonna try it anyway. It's supposed to be photo finish, so it's supposed to be kind of like blurring. It's definitely dewy. I'm gonna try it with mm, sponge first. Okay, so I'm just gonna dot this on. Just gonna load up my sponge with this product. Let's go in. It's actually an okay shade, but I think that has to do as well with the fact that there is no coverage. <laughs> this is pretty much like a tinted moisturizer, but not even that tinted. Like, I feel like I would need to go in with about 15 more layers to get any kind of coverage. Can you see any change at all? I can, and I'm using a hell of a lot of products. Let's try a brush, maybe. I'm gonna use this one by Real Techniques. It's their buffing brush, and I'm just gonna try and, oh, try and buff this in. What is happening right now? Okay, so that gave me literally no coverage. Back to the sponge. <laughs> so you definitely get a lot more coverage with the sponge. But again, barely any. Just gonna go straight in on my face right now. It's super glowy on the skin and it kind of looks pretty. I feel like this is good. This would be good as like a topper of a foundation, if that makes sense. Like it kind of feels like a mixing product or something. Also, for, for something so sheer, it's kind of thick. I think I may try it like over top of foundation because it is a very pretty finish. It definitely feels tacky and it's coming off of my fingers and my hair is very much sticking to it. I'm gonna try a new concealer, which I'm super excited to try. This is by Jouer. It's their Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I haven't tried their foundation, which I really wanna try as well. There's a, there's a big tube of concealer. <laughs> I got the shade Lace, which is the shade down from the lightest because the lightest was too pink. That's gonna be too dark. Is it? I don't know. It looks slightly too dark. I like quite a light concealer. Let's try it on anyway. I don't really like this doe foot. Very long, if that makes sense. Let's see 
Whoa, this feels super thick. And actually, the shade isn't too bad, but that might be because my foundation isn't really doing a lot. I probably added way too much product. Let's see how this blends out. I like the fact you have a little bit of work time with this because it's not like drying down instantly. This feels nice. And as you could probably see, I had very bad dark circles. Okay, I feel like I look actually insane now because all the rest of my face is quite red. Let's see if I can blend the concealer as much as possible. I actually quite like that concealer. It's a nice finish. It's not too matte. It's not too dewy. Obviously, it's still kind of like drying down. And you can see there's like a little bit of glow to it. That could also be the foundation that I've got on though. This actually has hyaluronic acid in it and it claims to be creaseless with a soft matte finish. Next up, I'm going to try this powder that I've tried before and it didn't really work for me. And it's the Laura Mercier a secret brightening powder. I do have to say though, the packaging on this is absolutely awful. Like, I don't know if you can see, but pretty much all the product is about the sifter and you do not need a lot of this product and it goes everywhere. What I like to do is like really load my brush up. The way that I do this is I press into the powder and then I tap it off and then I press in again. And I do this a few times because it like packs the powder right into the bristles and then you get more of like an even kind of coverage. With my concealer as well, instead of doing the whole thing where, you know, you look up and you set, I've stopped doing that because I found when I was, I was getting more creasing. Just the fact that I'm stretching my skin up and then looking down, I just feel like it just makes the creases worse. So I've stopped doing that and I just look straight forward into my mirror and then I just set over top. It stops the creasing being so crazy for me. So if you are having troubles with creasing, maybe try that trick, see if that helps you. Uh, I hope it helps someone out there. I'm just lightly tapping. This powder is actually looking okay today which is a nice surprise. Now I'm gonna powder down my whole face. I'm gonna use a mixture of RCMA and the collection powder. I've been doing this a lot. I just like put a bit of the RCMA in this. I was doing it first of all because I wanted to take RCMA with me and I didn't want to take the bulky ass packaging. But now I just kind of like mix the two together and I really like them together. This foundation really does need certain. <laughs> it's still very sticky right now. So I don't have a bronzer from Pretty Little Thing to Dry. However, I do have Ow. I do have this one which is sold on Pretty Little Thing, which is by L'Oreal and it's the Camila Cabello. Camila Cabello? C Camila C Cabello? I don't know how to say her name. <laughs> it's her sunlit bronzer in light slash medium. I always take issue with things that say light slash medium because they are never for uh, light people. <laughs> but I was intrigued so I thought I'd try this out. I'm just gonna... What? <laughs> How in the hell? I thought this was supposed to be like a matte bronzer. That is like a liquid shadow. I'm sorry. That looks like a highlighter. How is this supposed to be a bronzer? Please explain. Please explain L'Oreal. You know what? I'm gonna try a little bit just for my curiosity. And I'm just gonna use it a bit on my finger and apply it. I know I've powdered my face. I should have thought about this before, but I just wanna see what it looks like. Uh, patchy? Maybe I should have given it a fair chance and put it not of a powder, but it doesn't look as orangey on my skin as I thought it would. Like, it looks very scary on the back of my hand. Once you put it on the face, it kind of sheared out so you could build it up to the kind of intensity that you wanted. And this scary gold reflect and undertone really does not translate on the skin. It kind of has, like, a natural finish to it. It does kind of feel a little bit sticky, so I'm just gonna go over it with a little bit of powder. Do I like this? Does it look nice? I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about this. Maybe I need to give it another go without the powder underneath to give it a fair chance. I might actually use this on my eyes, because I don't actually have like an eyeshadow palette to try it or anything, so I might try that on my eyes in a second. Next I have this brow gel in light. That says light right there. <laughs> Even the shade on the top does not look light. It says keep your hairs in place and your brow game strong with this light eyebrow gel. For all you light haired beauties, this brow gel is essential. What I find ironic about like these products that are for like light skin, the model has like dark hair and she's very tanned. Like, how are we gonna know if that's gonna work for us if the model doesn't even represent us? You know what I mean? Okay, so let's take a look at this brow gel. Jesus, that is a straight up mascara wand. Like, literally, that it. 
that that's a mascara wand this is literally almost the size of my whole brow and i have big brows i like going slightly darker with my eyebrows they are tinted right now and i've not been waxed in a while but still <laughs> i feel like this shade would be kind of perfect for my eyebrows but i just take issue with this being a light brow gel. I do have a clear one though, so if you do have like super blonde eyebrows, if this is good, then you could get a clear one, I guess. Let's just try this out. This is ridiculous. The shade is okay, and it's kind of like a thicker formula, and it is really shaping my brow as well. That brow though looks f***ed on camera. <laughs> Like, I understand my brow is a real bushy right now, but Jesus. I feel like it's because the wand is too big. I just feel like the product is kind of going everywhere. I think the product is actually quite decent though. It is really setting my brows in place. I think I'm gonna go around with some concealer and also conceal my lids. I'm just gonna take the same concealer, the Jouer one, straighten out these brows and make them look like less of a train wreck. Did I say them? Do they look better? I think they do. I hope to god they do. Because I want to do kind of like basic makeup today, I'm gonna try this on the eyes. I don't know if this is a good idea. I just feel like the shine would look nice on the eyelid because it is very sheer. I'm gonna need to add more onto my brush. I don't know if this is working. <laughs> because it is like a sheer product, I feel like the pigment isn't really building up on my lids. Trying to blend this out. I was hoping it would kind of come out like that on my lid but it's really not kind of added like a subtle sheen next we have the false lash volumizing mascara it just says get that falsies effect with our pretty little thing mascara featuring a volumizing wand this mascara is essential to our makeup bag <laughs> and there's one shade which is black again packaging is the same which i feel like you could get very confused <laughs> with which one is which let's have a look at this wand this looks exactly like the brow gel wand. Are they the same? So the volumizing one has slightly more bristles than the brow gel, but they are pretty much exactly the same thing. Oh god, which one's which? <laughs> Hang on, bear with me. Okay, so let's see how volumizing this mascara is. Oh, a lot of pigment is coming off the brush. Not very black black, if you know what I mean. Can you guys see volume? I'm struggling to see volume. I absolutely detest this one. Like, I'm getting it all on my top lid. It's just not, it's just not very good for my eye shape. It's taking me quite a bit of building to get full colour. I don't feel like it's adding a lot of volume. I actually feel like it's just adding kind of length and fluffiness to my lashes. Which isn't really a bad thing. I feel like it's turning kind of grey on my lashes underneath my eyes because of the concealer. I don't know if I would ever go back to it in all honesty. Okay, next I have a blush. Sorry I've kind of been like all over the place with this video. <laughs> it's the Mermaid Kiss Blusher. It's a very nice pinky kind of peachy colour. It has a bit of a sheen to it, like a gold reflect. Again, cute packaging. It's cardboard so it is, you know, cheapy kind of feeling. Boo, it looks very shiny and it's kind of stiff in the pan. I've got this new Revolution Pro pointed fluffy brush. I'll be honest, this kind of looks like it's going to be a little bit chalky. Oh my gosh, it's going everywhere. It's very powdery. Okay, and let's just press this on the apples and bring it on back. I feel like this is kind of gone a bit patchy. This has a hell of a lot of shine to it. Like I literally look like I've put on so much highlight right now. Why do I look like I've got so much blush on now? <laughs> the shade is pretty, but I just feel like it's not dispersing correctly. This would look like a beautiful highlight on someone with darker skin. It's funny because I'm using this powder brush to kind of dull it down and it's just taking away the color, but not the shine. So now I'm just left with a shiny ass cheek. I'm looking like the Tin Men over here. Final thing that I've got from Pretty Little Thing is a Cotton Candy Shine Lip Kit which is a lip gloss and a lip liner all together. Weird. So this is the color on the like packaging. It's like a kind of peachy pink kind of thing going on. Actually kind of looks similar to the base of the blush in a way. And then this is what has come out of the package. It's a lot more beige in this too. Uh, hmm. Okay, we're gonna try it out. I quite like this packaging. It's like a frosted plastic and the lip liner that comes with it is obviously supposed to correlate. Ooh, that's actually quite creamy. That feels quite nice. Okay, let's try this liner on the lips. Yeah, this is looking very concealer lips-esque. Oh my God. 
Oh, the smell on this is bad. It smells like child's makeup. I'm not down for this. Okay, this is doing like literally nothing. So I'm just gonna pass on this lip liner. I'm really not doing what it did on my hand or my lips. We're gonna try the lip gloss though. Oh my god. The color of this is literally like hoop brown. Ooh, this smells nice. This smells like vanilla, kind of cotton candy. Well, this is cotton candy, guys. Why is it orange? Who wants their lips to look this color? This does not look anything like the packaging. It's thick, but also has like no pigment to it when you rub your lips together. Oh my God, this is so bad. Would you say this is a glass? I would say this is more of like a satin. It tastes disgusting. Ew. <laughs> it's also collecting like around here, so I'm getting the whole butthole lip thing. I'm taking this off right now. The color is gross, the liner is kind of awful lip kit in cotton candy is a pass they did send me two other lip glosses when i ordered from them like clothes and things i don't know what shade this is i think this is the cotton candy shade because that looks exactly the same i got another one which is like a darker nude so we'll try this one i think this is in the color brown sugar let's just see if this one is any better they're not very pigmented so you're gonna have to put a base underneath them i think mm. again this one's kind of orangey too i don't like it feels nice on the lips it's not too gloopy it kind of feels almost oil based so those were a fail do i have any other lip stuff i do not know i actually have this gloss stick from kiko it's a gloss in a lip pencil which i thought was so weird but i really want to try it Oh, that feels so nice on the lips. See, this is more of the nude that I was hoping the cotton candy color was gonna be. Kind of chunk it off a little bit as I'm using it. I actually quite like this. It's kind of thick, but it doesn't feel too heavy on the lips. It feels very moisturizing. With a lip liner, this would look really good. I thought it was gonna be really sheer, but actually it's got a decent amount of pigment to it. I did not think a pencil form of gloss was gonna work, but I actually quite like the way this looks and the way it feels. It is a lot more glossy than the pretty little thing gloss. Oh, another thing that I can try that I didn't even think about, Doll Beauty did a collaboration with Pretty Little Thing and they created a highlighter. I know I've already got quite a lot of highlight going on in my face right now because of that blush. I have a feeling this is gonna be too dark for me, but we can try it and see. It looks really pretty in the pan and like, look at that reflect girl. This is in the shade Pretty Little Glow. Okay, let's just finesse this into the skin. Oh my gosh. That is, that is so smooth on the skin. As you can see, it's definitely too dark on my skin here. You can see like a cast, but wabam. Look at that highlight. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Where's the other one? I've got like a diamond, which is lighter. So I think I'm going to try this over the top. This is going to be like a massive claim, but I don't think, oh my God, I keep getting distracted by the glow. I don't think I've ever seen a highlight look so smooth on my skin before. I am going to take like a diamond and I'm gonna put it on the high points of where I just highlighted. Why have I not tried these highlights sooner? I'm sorry if there should have been a warning in the beginning of this video could cause blindness. I'm gonna keep on playing with this and put it everywhere now. I need to put the highlight down because I'm literally putting it everywhere. <laughs> these two are amazing. <laughs> Obviously the Pretty Little Glow is more for medium to almost deep skin tones. These are close to like what an Ofra highlighter is, but I feel like it's more user friendly because with the Ofra you have to be careful. Like if you put too much of that on your brush, you are just gonna automatically beam. These I feel like you can build, but they don't take that much longer to build than an Ofra highlight. Like. Do you know what I mean? Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I've been filming for like two hours, just chilling here, playing with makeup. Thank you if you made it this far to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Also, we hit 100 subscribers. I just wanna say thank you so, so, so much. I was hoping we could meet 100 subscribers by Christmas and you guys have already done it. So I just wanna say thank you so freaking much and this before Halloween even started. I just wanna let you know that it really does mean a lot that you hit the subscribe button. I hope you click the bell. <laughs> If you are only now discovering my channel, I would appreciate it so much if you joined as well. Feel free to hit the little subscribe button and the bell button just so you get notified of when I upload. And also, if you guys like this video, then don't forget to hit the little like button so I know and I'll keep creating for you guys. Oh, I forgot to wear my spooky themed stuff. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I hope you're having a spooky evening wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys. <laughs>